Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to attempt to show you how I synchronize um, <clears throat> the audio and the video for multiple cameras. Um, oftentimes when I shoot videos for YouTube I'll use uh, two or three different cameras to add perspective to the main video. Uh, in order to be able to do that you've got to synchronize the audio and the video for each of the cameras that you're using. Uh, so that's what I'm going to attempt to show you here. Uh, First things first, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro uh, version CS6 on a Windows based computer. My apologies to Mac users, I don't know the shortcuts for the Mac computer, I've, I've never used a Mac actually. Um, anyway, in this particular case I've got two cameras. I've got my Canon 70D which is going to be aimed at me the whole time and then I've got my Canon Vixia camcorder which will act actually be aimed at the desk that I'm working on, the table that I'm working on. So I need to uh, synchronize the audio and the video for each one of these guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to drag my first the camera, which is the Canon 70D, and I need to scrub to. Uh, well, let me. This is a good time to explain what I do when I'm when I'm shooting with multiple cameras. If I'm going to shoot a video that has more than one camera, uh, I will always turn on all of the cameras that I use, start them recording, and then clap. When I use that clap, I use the sound, the audio of that clap to synchronize, and that's what I'm that's what I'm going to look for here. So I turn this camera on and I'm and I'm looking basically for that for that clap. And I believe in this video it's 35230 somewhere in there. So I'm going to scrub to get close to that. Let's play on that. Okay, there you heard the clap. So now what I'm going to do is just uh, press the left arrow key on my keyboard to scrub backwards to listen for that clap again and then I'm going to mark that. Right there, that's the clap. Okay, so right there I want to create a marker for that uh, end point. So I'm going to press the M on my keyboard and that's going to put a little marker right in here. There's my marker. Now I want to right click this marker and then just uh, do an edit I'm going to edit that marker and then I'm just going to give it a name. In this case I'm just going to give it a the name sync. It doesn't really matter what you do. It, what matters is that you that you name the marker the same for both clips. I'm going to click OK here. And we're basically done with that clip. I'll go ahead and drag my uh, uh camcorder video into the source monitor and again I'm going to Try and scrub to where I had that uh, that clap, and in this case, it's somewhere in the area of 146. If memory serves, so I want to get close to that, and then play, and we're going to listen for that clap. And in this case, we also had a visual cue. Okay, so again, left arrow key, and I want to hear that 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 clap. Right there. Okay, so then again, I want a marker here, so I'm going to hit the M on my keyboard, and that puts the marker. I'm going to right-click right on the marker, and choose Edit Marker, and again, just give it the same name that I gave the other one. Let's sync, and click OK. So we got both of our cameras now uh, with the endpoint. Uh, all I need to do now is, is drag these guys into my timeline. This is my Canon, the 70D, and here is the camcorder. Now, I have a microphone attached to the 70D, so that's the audio that I want to keep. The other, the, the other audio I'm using, the audio on the Vixia, I'm using just for the purposes of syncing the videos. And then once I have them synced, I can get rid of that audio. So right away you can see that the, that the markers are there, but they're not lined up, they're not synced. So what we need to do is sync these guys. So in order to do that, I got to select both of the clips and then uh, and then uh, uh, sync them. So if you click on one, it selects it. If you click on the other one, it deselects the original one and then selects the other one. So to avoid that, you click on one of them, then press the Shift key, hold down that Shift key, and then click on the other clip. And now they're both selected. And then at this point, you're ready to sync. Uh, so you can go to your clip menu and can just hit synchronize there. What I like to do is just right click right on it. If they're selected, just right click on it and you get the same option here with synchronize. 
That brings up the synchronized clips box. You can sync based on these things. Obviously, what I want to sync on is, is my marker. That's what I created them for. And this is why you have to name them both with, with the same name. Uh, so you'll notice here now when I click OK that these these markers are going to line up. And that's that's basically what we're after. So watch when I click OK. Boom. They're all lined up. And, uh, and that's ready to go, basically. So essentially, that's basically all there is to it. At this point, I'm ready to eliminate the audio from my uh, Vixia. I don't need that anymore. So in order to do that, just basically select the Vixia clip, right click, and then I need to unlink it. What that does is unlinks the audio from the video. So now these are separate. And I can just uh, highlight the uh, Vixia audio, hit the delete key on my keyboard, and that guy's gone. Now I have only the audio from the Canon 70D, and I can use either one of the two video clips. And that's essentially all there is to it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Uh, you know, like the video, that, that helps me out a lot. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you find the content interesting. Uh, subscribing is free. Uh, this way you get, you get notified every time I put out a video. Um, questions, comments, uh, suggestions, by all means, please post those in the comment box. I hope this video was helpful to you, uh, and uh, thanks a bunch for watching. We really appreciate it.